May the Lord be always with you. Who's a head man, Padre? Padre Blasco? He's our superior. I'll take you to him. Then St. Francis mounted the pulpit and began to preach so wondrously of the contempt of the world, of holy penance, of voluntary poverty, and of the desire for the heavenly kingdom, and of the nakedness and shame of the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all they that were present at the sermon, men and women in great multitudes, began to weep bitterly with wondrous devotion and contrition of heart. The peace of our Lord be with you, brother. Welcome to San Juan. Are you looking for something, brother? Isn't everybody? That's how I spend my time. We're all looking for something, Padre. I bear, but it's a misuse of the little time he has on earth. The man doesn't know what he is looking for. Ah, is there something I might do for you? Not a thing, Padre. Not a thing. Ah, we're just about to eat. If you're in no hurry, sup with us. We'd like you to share our bread. Fra Ribetto, take care of his horse. Treat him well. It's useless to hold the fodder. I don't think El Chico would mind. Ah, oh, poor mule forgot to come home one night. He disappeared from the pasture. Unfortunately, a puma, I think, couldn't resist him. But couldn't you tame that uh, irreligious puma? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not, brother. St. Francis tamed the wolf of Gubbio. But I don't think I can, more's the pity. My vices exclude me from that grace. Shall we go to dinner? And not only there, but throughout the whole of the peak, he was such a bewailing of the passion of Christ that the like had never been known. Amen. Many sorrows and many woes will the miserable man suffer that put of his desire and his heart and his hope in earthly things, whereby he forsaketh and loses heavenly things, and at last shall even lose also these earthly things. The eagle soared it very high, but if she had tied a weight to her wings, she would not be able to fly very high. And even so, for the weight of earthly things, a man cannot fly on high, to which he cannot attain to the But the wise man that bindeth the weight of the remembrance of death and judgment to the wings of the heart, could not for the great fear thereof go astray, nor fly at vanities, nor riches of this world, which are a source of their faith. Every day we see men toil and moil much, and encounter great bodily perils to gain these false riches. And after they have toiled and gained much, in a moment they die and leave behind all that they gained in their lives. Therefore, put not thy trust in this false world that beguileth every man that believeth therein, for it is a lion. But whoso desireth and ah, great... Yeah. Would you like to have a little more of this, brother? Yes, thank you. Let him seek after and love everlasting riches and good things that ever save us weep and never satiate and never grow less. If we would not go astray, let us take pattern from the beasts and the birds. For these, when they are fed, are content and seek not their living safe from hour to hour when their needs come in. Even so, should a man be content with satisfying his needs temperately and not seek after superfluities. But we ought not to be slothful in the summer of this present life, hmm. so that we be not found... Good, Father. Did you make it here in the monastery? No. This mountain soil won't grow anything. Several years ago, after the Battle of Alamo, a Mexican officer came by here and stayed with us in retreat for a few days. He told us nothing of himself, and we, respecting his privacy, asked him nothing. He prayed most earnestly and spent his time in meditation in the chapel. Before he left, he wanted to give something to the monastery, and all he had in his carriage was ten bottles of this wine. We never drink anything but water. Mm. Oh, forgive me. Friar Ribetto. Yes? Would you bring another bottle of wine for our guest? Brother, your right hand. I hope there's nothing the matter with it. Forgive my curiosity, but I noticed that you never use it. I use it. No worry. Only if I'm obliged, Padre.
Ja, so helft ihm doch. Is he the one you were looking for? Yeah, that's right. He's the one. They said he wanted to talk, but now it's too late. He was one of the Sierra bandits? Uh, he was the cleverest one of them. His friends will want to settle his account. But I don't imagine they'll ever think of looking for him in your cemetery. Don't you see? It's a perfect hide-up for the poor fellow. I don't think the others there will mind. Now, you won't forget the bottle, will you, Padre? Huh? Requiem eternam donae. Requiescat in pacem. Amen. that the hour of death comes to each and every one, brother. Amen. Remember that the hour of death comes to each and every one, brother. Amen. Remember that the hour of death comes to each and every one, brother. Amen. Remember that the hour of death comes to each and every one, brother. be a fool, Padre. Horses over there don't belong to monasteries. They belong to two men. One's asleep in the monastery. The other's dead and buried. Come on, you idiot. Tell us more. He was a Mexican. He arrived about sunset. He was dying. <laughs> I tell you, I don't miss. If anyone wants trouble, you send them to me. Morienta came to die in the monastery with the friars. Who will Mongolia laugh when he hears that? <laughs> <laughs> Shall we visit the cemetery? Come on, let's do it. Or we leave him here. Oh! Search him, Carlos. Hmm. 
This isn't even worth stealing. Hey, look at this. Que cosa? Eh, a poker card with strange words written on it. Let me see. De, de, de asjota. Hey, what do you think it means? We take it to Manguya. Maybe he knows. But why? It's a sign there's gold, isn't it? Why don't we keep it? What would happen to us if we did? We'd have Manguya on our necks, that's what. You must be loco. Friend, you're forgetting we all may be rich. Just think about that. It's a chance you'll never get with Manguya. The general will divide the amigos. He always has, no? See, si, he has. Here, take it. Bueno. Now we will take care of the other one and get out of here. Hurry, vamonos. I don't like this place. Sure is a pity, because you're going to rest here till Judgment Day. What was that? Nothing at all. Just some others waiting to get into the ground. Go for brother set up here.
Out of the way. There are 25, Mitchell. Out of there, look. I think you'll yeah, find them right. more than just all right. Yeah. Mongoy has never had better guns than these. Here, take it. Check it yourself, Mitchell. Well, I think you better learn that I supply only the best, and the Henerale knows it. Think a little less, and you won't regret it. Take that gun, and you're a match for any man. That's just about the best of them. With those arms, Mongolia could take over the whole area, regardless of the regularities the governor sent. Nothing wrong with that. You better believe it. There's too much risk already. How about it, Pat? We left a couple of bodies in place of the rifle. Two of the men guarding the armory. You want them, Mitchell? I want them to give you a thousand in silver and the girls. I'm going to play this your way. I'll take the money. But a little extra. I want a thousand five hundred. What am I going to do with them? It'll cost me a hundred each to get them clean, dressed, and find them a place. Nah. The bars in Laredo and El Paso got plenty like these. Tedder? You better take what the general gives you and hope he doesn't change his mind. I wouldn't make him mad, you understand? Now, you know, sometimes it's better you don't do anything to disturb him. One day, feeling bad, he might say, I must go on up to see Tedder. And when he gets here, it's Zack. We never see you again. Mongo, you'd be without arms if you did. And you'd be without your thick head if you did, amigo. Other men will sell arms to the hen et al. It's better to get paid in gold than these girls, don't you think? Figure how much you'd be gaining if you use these little girls right. If you don't take them, you're missing a good deal, Tedder. Wouldn't you like to try? It might make you rich. Take them, you're missing a good deal, Tedder. Wouldn't you like to try? It might make you rich. They'd better or there's going to be trouble for Mongolia, but for now we'll call it a sale. But only because I want it that way. Get me? Mongolia understands. Well? I'll make sure they make up for all that other money they cost me, Mitchell. You can bet on that. Hey, you, hold your head up. I want to look at you. You going to a funeral, sweetheart? Huh? You, come here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, you idiot? Give me that. She's not worth anything, Scott. I'll take care of her my way. Give me a drink. Great place you got. If I wanted a beer, would I get it? If you have the money on you, want a drink, just ask for it. That shouldn't be too difficult to figure out. The price is a quarter of a dollar for beer or two Mexican pesos. Pay when you get it. I see. Well, then a beer. You, amigo. You haven't told us yet who you are. <laughs> if you'd like to drink. I see that no one's told you. To upset a beer brings trouble. I think you ought to know. <laughs> Another 
another beer. But I just have to pay for the one I drink. Yeah. This whole area is in the control of General Munguia, right? Uh-huh. So you're just one of the gang, aren't you? That is so, amigo. You could call me the shadow of Munguia. I have something to say, but not to a shadow of his. It's him I want to see. If I was you, amigo, I'd change my mind. Behind you, senor! <laughs> You know, if I were you, I wouldn't play with firearms. Vamanos, amigo. We got a long ride. Come on. Hurry it up. Move, I say. Here you are, chicas. Home at last. Get inside. Get on. Get it. Don't get to like it. You'll be leaving soon. Out of the way. Chicks are not bad, huh? If you have some money to spend, we can keep one warm for you, right? <laughs> I'll be back any day now. I want you to understand that if anybody harms those girls in there, you'll know it. Yeah, I understand. You just better. While I'm at it, I'll just remind you. <laughs> Somewhere? I was over this way and I saw Munguya's gang leaving, so I say to myself, Garincha, now why don't you go over and visit your amigo Terer? I was afraid to leave such an old friend like you alone here with all those coyotes nearby. Huh? You're safe now, so you won't need your pistola. Why don't you sit down, Terer? How many times do I have to tell you to stay away from Sonora? Munguya, once your head, Garincha. I'll always help though I gotta do as he says. To hell with him. That's right. Munguya's been after us for too many years now, and I'm tired of running. I'm tired of hiding in the hills. He wants my card, Tedder, while I want his. You're insane. You're mad. No. You must know, I think, the story of the treasure of Santana. Bueno, 
I have a third of that story right here. A third which I know is worth 100,000 pesos of gold. Un momento. Don't be in such a hurry. If I were you, I would use that little thing you got for a brain, friend. Tomorrow you ride, eh? And when you reach Sierra Palo, who do you see? Well, who? The sheriff who happens to have hung me up by the neck, that's who. Go with his men and wait until they take their horses into the valley. And make sure my corpse is left there for you to search. Oh, but I, uh... I want you to find this guard better. And bring it to Munguya. He should have to pay much to get it. And it puts you on his side. And you? Oh, I'm already dead. It's almost worth the waiting. The smile will die on the face of Munguya when he finds the place where the gold is. And the man he meets there he thought was only a ghost. Can you fool him, Garincha? I will fool him, Tedder. I am sure. <laughs> to make jokes, amigo. Your business had better be serious. Manguya doesn't like to have foreigners in here. I think that I don't know you. Bill Blunt. And you. Oh, yeah, you're Monguya. <laughs> General Monguya. Oh. If you have not learned how to show respect, you will now. You only have the morning to live. First of all, because your tongue, well, it might surprise you and say something I do not like. And because you are Americano. And finally, because all those who live in the hills of Los Alitos must never be allowed to tell the secret. Isn't this from the neck of your friend, Morienda? Hey, Mongolia? And four others which you sent after won't be back either. <laughs> and now you want to murder me. Mongolia, you'll spend the rest of your life looking for that treasure and you won't get at it. Sure, I will. But it happens that you kill five. Patri Monastery and one in Sonora. That's the count, all right. Ah, gringo. Mitchell told me you are bueno with the gun, is right. Oh, Mitchell has seen it in action. <laughs> uh. Can I 
You beat that, amigo? Uh-uh. The only place I ever used a knife was at the table. What do you want? Vaya! Good. Bueno, it is a fact. You find nothing else on that pig? Nothing. I told you before he was dead. I found him after your men, and for sure there was nothing on him then, except blood. Uh-huh. Morienda. Mi luego tenente. I thought he was a friend and he was only a traitor. He was my brother. And he betrayed me, Munguya, su carissimo general. It seems he preferred the gold of Santana. Yeah, the gold. It started long ago, gringo. It was 11 years ago. We were camped by the Alamo. And my General Santana had sworn he would kill all the Americanos. And he won the fight, too. And that's where you made yourself General, huh? I deserted with two friends of mine, Morienda and Garrincha, and almost 300,000 pesos. The pay for all General Santana's troops, comprende? Bet Paredes took the gold from us and hid it. Where do you figure it is? <laughs> only the devil knows. Paredes was murdered. So now there's only two others who have cards like this one. I got one. So now I have to get the others to know where the money is buried. One of the cards Garincha has. I don't know how or where he got it. But I do know that one day soon, I will get him. And the other one was with Murienda. But there's a chance that he lost it. See, I thought about it. You know, Mongu, that if you ever show your face outside of Sonora, all the protection your boys can give you won't help. You'll be shot, no questions asked. The minute you step across the river to the United States, you'll have every marshal and deputy in the country on your tail. I can cross the border back and forth without any worry. Mm. That's why you're still alive, amigo. Yeah. Well, we've got an arrangement that each of us understands. It didn't take much time. Now all I need is the other person. I've got to find Garincha. As soon as you find the other cards, we pick up the gold. We'll pick it up together when you find Garincha and make tracks to the body money. Hmm? Está bien? And now you must give me your pistol. You're with amigos, huh? find these pigs, Epifan. Uh, they were down there in the valley, General. General, maybe you'd like to look at that machine gun on the wagon over there. 
it is nice and clean like a bride on her wedding day. With that on the wagon, we can shoot on a whole regiment of... Peter! Work. Yes. He habla. Habla. Think so, General. Stop some of that noise. It's a fiesta, gringo. Oh, it's a party now. Well, I don't think it's fitting that you left out.
Diego! You don't ever live to get away from Monguya. You will see. We'll be free now. Leave it where it is. I thought you would have learned better by now. What do you want? I want only five minutes of your time. Also, I want to hear nothing but the truth out of you. 
You follow? Mm-hmm. You'd better. All right. How many years have you supplied food, ammunition, and who knows what else to Mongui and his band? About ten years, Teddy. That was when Texas was surrendered by Mexico to the Union. That was the way to earn a living. Sure, sure. And since you've lived here for so many years, there's a hell of a lot you must have found out about the goal of Santana. What's the matter? You sick? You look pale. I don't know anything. I can't tell you anything. No. Well, I think you can. Then you should get started because your five minutes are almost up. <clears throat> You'd better just stay there listening. We've got Monguya, Marienda, Garincha. Three deserters from the forces of Santana. Marienda was murdered. Monguya, I've seen him. Now, how about Garincha? Tell me about him. Go on. You should talk, Tether, while you got the chance. Mongo, you'll get back at you. His men are every place you know. They sure are, Tether. So you see, I haven't got much time left. I got to get to Garincha, and you're going to get me headed down the proper road. I warn you, you better talk fast. Well, if you're not talking, then I'm shooting. Which is it? Wait a minute, Blunt. The gold of Santana has been buried. I don't know more than that. And about Garincha. It's been a month or more since he showed up in this place. I don't know where he is now. Get him out of my side. Move, you. Outside. I'm out. No bueno. You talking like that. Oh, no. I wasn't talking much about anything. He was asking me questions that I wouldn't answer. No bueno. Talking about Garincha. Wait a minute. Look. You know you can trust me, General. All these years I've been as, as faithful as one of your own men. I don't believe that you do it, Tether. Just a minute. The card. The one Garincha had. How do you like that? See, you can trust me. You must know I'm not a traitor. I saved it for you. It wasn't mine. I don't know what it is anyway. Garincha was here. And then this other murdering buzzard out of nowhere came and started asking me questions. And I didn't know... Ah! Ah! Mitchell. See, si, General. Remove that so good tether. Take some of the men and clean up this foul place. They have never learned how to listen to Munguia, but they have to now. Five! The father! get the card, I must keep you alive. And yet I must, I must make you die a little better, amigo, if I want you to find your memory. You tell me where it's hidden? About the last card I saw was an ace of hearts when I was playing in a little saloon in Durango. must talk and you will talk. Now decide. It will be a lot better than this. Or must we repeat the lesson? Tell me about the card. I teach him a lesson with my knife. Leave him to me. You'll see he begin to speak pronto when I start to cut. 
He should be killed, I know, but he has to stay alive. We'll make him talk. Vamos. Keep your eyes open. Right, General. about anything else. Something terrible has happened, I know. I must find out. No, wait. Hey, no bad, huh? Get on your right. <laughs> hey, hey, where are you going? Get up. Come here. <laughs> Let me go. Where's the devil who hide that part? Who says he didn't give it to Tedder? Hmm. He could have, you know. What makes you think he didn't? Try to use your brain just this once. Tedder had only one card, Garinches. Hmm. The gringo got this from Murienda at the monastery in San Juan and tries to make full of Munguya. That's how it was. He doesn't break the head to figure that one out. He must tell us where he put it. Make sure of it. And the treasure is mine. Claro. Claro. It's right, my little sister. Let me go. Let me go. Look at this. Who will think we still find these pretty ladies in this town of Peones? Come on. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Here, are you hungry? No? Do you eat something? Then drink. <laughs> Go on. No. Do not bebes conmigo. Mitchell. Bring the bar. Empty it in there. We treat very well the señorita to give us a visit. <laughs> Have something to eat? No. Want some wine? Yes. Wine's well, pretty good in these parts, huh? Don't you like it? Go on, have another drink. <laughs> Moonguya said for me not to kill you, so I won't be killing you. There's nothing been said about my teaching you a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
to let him get away. A man who couldn't even walk. Mitchell, turn this village inside out if you have to, but find him. Do you hear? Find him. What are you doing? Why do you wait? Move. The card. Give them here. Now they all belong to me. cards. So the answer must be here. De bajo. No. De la. De bajo. De la. So, I know, Mitchell. The place of Bandera. La Sierra Pala. El Monastery de San Juan. It is there. Nombre de Dios. I know why Murienda was in the monastery now. Where have we been? It's about 13 miles from us yet. Then Sonora. To the east is Sierra Palo, and to the south is Rio Grande. And Mongolia tries to rule the land as though it were his. Oh, we'll never have a moment's rest. You'll be able to make it. You wouldn't want to be seen dead in this godforsaken place, would you? We do have a pistol on us, so perhaps it'll be all right. How have you forgot my hat when you were picking up all these things? Hat? But give thanks to God you are the head to put it on. <sighs> I was real fond of that old hat. More than a figure. What is it?
Fúbate. Son hombres de Mongulla. Those hombres are going to be our salvation. Now you stay here and don't move. Stop it. Who's your leader? Or have you got one? Is there any man here who can put his hand on a pistol? Or have you burned out all your energy at Sonora? Adios. You'll be all right. Just be careful. Take the horses and wagon. I gotta go now. You are leaving us? I have some work up ahead. If we go with you, we could help you, senor. There's too much danger, Chica. Your happiness lies in other directions. You can be sure of that.
No, senor, it's only us. The other men were here before, but now they've gone to the cemetery. No, not that way. They can see you from out there. Come with us, senor. There is a crypt that leads to the cemetery. And they will not know. Come, this way. Hey, Mitchell. We three were praying when the bandits attacked the monastery. We were not able to do anything alone, however. There are six of them. It's best to let them go away. Now, which way out? Here it is. We're going to be rich in it, Al. 100,000 pesos. What a banana. You shall have more than you think. <laughs> I feel bad we've lost so many men. I've been wondering if their lives were worth it. <laughs> I'll leave that for tomorrow. Now, let's think only of the gold. Bueno. But I think 50,000 will be my share alone. The rest is for the muchachos. We'll divide it out of los cerritos. Mitchell, toma el dinero y después vamos. Hold it, Mitchell. There's no need to hurry. It's better to divide it between us now. If you want, you can go to Los Cerritos. I will not go back with you. Why are you wasting our time? Give us our gold and we'll be going. Don't try to play games with Mongolia, you hear? It's my decision we go to Los Cerritos and you will follow it. Make no mistake about that. Until the gold is divided, you will do what I say. We must stay together. There is too much danger of being ambushed like the others. Remember, this valley is guarded by the cavalry. We are not safe until we reach Sonora. Before we do, if anybody moving around you, you'd better shoot. I might make it easier for you. General! I guess there's nothing more for us to say to each other. I'm alone now. And so are you. Are you afraid? Who, me? To worry about that? At the worst, it's useless in the mine of Mongolia. Yeah, but you kill nevertheless. It's lost all sense to you. It makes sense to stay alive. You know what I got here, gringo? Gold, Mongolia. The gold of Santana. Garinja. It's good you remember your old friend after all this time, Mongolia. You know, it warms my heart. Many years I've been waiting for this moment. The trick, it worked out good, yes? You believe that once you got a hold of that card, there'd be no worries, eh? The treasure was hidden around here, eh? But where was it? Just under the altar of the church, eh? <laughs> Muchas gracias to your amigo, too, for giving me a hand. Gringo, 
I will pay you now for your help by giving you a quick death. It's better to share the gold. It's a long time since I've been in a monastery. And it's a good day. I feel generous. You say a murder that doesn't kill all the friars. There are others alive in there. <laughs> but I couldn't find them. It's better that both of us take it. We divide the gold of Santana and go. You will head north. And I go back to Los Cerritos. That's fair, no? You don't think so? Amigo, you trust me, no? You won't take the word of General Munguya? It's very bad, gringo. I promise to give a lot more money than you expected. Come on, don't be silly. I don't want to kill my amigo. Mira, es una prueba. It's a deal, eh? There's 100,000 pesos in gold. 100,000, you hear? You'll be rich with all that gold. You still don't have faith in Munguya? I have no gun, you see? <laughs> Bravo. Now we are able to talk like amigos. When we begin this, there was three of us, but we lost one. It means we will both be gaining now, comprende? We haven't got anything to lose, and 50,000 pesos is a lot. Cabron! Ah! Adios. You wouldn't believe it if I said I didn't want to kill you. Only dear Padre Blasco had lived. What a great consolation it would be to him to see all that you have done for our monastery. You are blessed, Senor. It was our Lord that sent you to it. Well, let's say nothing more about it. You find more gold inside here. It's divided in three shares now. Two parts to the monastery and the other is in my saddle. It doesn't do any good to keep your gold buried. If it's out in the open, you can use it. But, Senor, what shall we do with so much gold? It's up to you, Padre. I can't tell you what to do with it. Give it to the poor. I got an idea. Buy another mule. Adios.
Ich heiße Bill Blatter. Aber das sagt gar nichts. Leute wie mich hat es schon viele gegeben. Wichtig ist nur eines. Das Gold, hinter dem ich her war, war greifbar nahe. Eine verdammt lange Zeit hatte ich diese Schufte verfolgt. Mein Pferd hatte ich schon fast zu Schanden geritten. Ich wartete. Wartete darauf, ihm eine Kugel mitten zwischen die Augen zu schießen. Nein, sie wussten nicht, dass ich hinter ihnen her war. Denn es ging um 100.000 Pesos in Gold. Das Gold von Santana. Für diese Summe hätte ich mir sogar eine neue Seele kaufen können. Sie aber nicht. Für Sie war alles schon vorherbestimmt, wie in einem Vertrag, unter den ich nur noch meine Unterschrift setzen musste. Eine Unterschrift, wie sie in der Hölle geschrieben wurde. Mit einem Loch in der Stirn. Und sehen Sie, das war das Problem. Eine scheußliche Geschichte. Es gab vier Joker, vier, die mich dorthin bringen konnten, wo ich hingehen wollte. Und ich hatte nur einen. Einen einzigen Joker, aber sechs Schüsse im Colt. Und hinter jeder Karte verdeckte sich die Furcht, der Hass, die Gewalt, die Wollust. Und der Hintergrund von all dem war das verdammte Gold von Santana. Fleisch für das Bett und Fleisch für das Schlachthaus. Diese dreckigen Bastarde waren das Blei der Kugel nicht wert. Sie spielen Feuer und säten rings um sich den Tod. Ich gab ab und zu ein Zeichen von meiner Anwesenheit und hinterließ meine Unterschrift den unmissverständlichen Buchstaben. Oh, sie kannten sie gut. Und sie bezahlten alle ihre Schuld. Die Quittung? Ein Loch in der Stirn.